Hello people, now ITV box office has announced that they are going to close, yes, so from now on there will be no more boxing or wrestling on ITV box office. Now this particular decision can be attributed to the lack of pay-per-view sales on ITV box office. And of course in particular to the lack of pay-per-view sales in their biggest target market which of course is boxing. Commercially right now boxing is booming but ITV struggle to sell pay-per-views. Now I shall dissect the reasons why they struggled in the boxing pay-per-view market. The first and the main reason why ITV box office failed was because ITV decided to run before they even started walking. They decided to straight away show box office fights. For example, Sky Sports did not throw Anthony, I used to be a bad boy, now I'm a good boy, Joshua, straight to Sky Box Office. They first built him up. They showed his fights on free Sky Sports channels. Yes, you need a subscription service to watch Sky Sports, but they showed him for free. They gave him that exposure. They gave him that publicity. They sat down with him and did talk shows where people knew what he was like. They knew his personalities. And same with all their other boxers. They first appeared on free Sky Sports channels. They built them up. So then later they knew we can cash in on box office. And of course, Anthony had to be a bad boy. Now I'm a good boy. Joshua's first Sky Sports box office fight was against Dylan and fighting Argos White, which was a huge which fight at the time. Why? Because Sky Sports had built up Joshua. They had built him up. People knew who he was. So the first reason ITV box office failed was because they rushed. Yes, they rushed too quickly. There was no substance behind their boxing. They had given their fighters exposure on ITV free channels. So when they flung them into pay-per-views, nobody knew who they were. Second reason, and this leads on from the first reason, was that ITV were greedy. They basically did a DC. ITV saw the success of Sky Sports box office and to a lesser extent BT box office and they decided they wanted a piece of that pie. Just like DC saw the success of Marvel and to a lesser extent Fox controlled by Marvel and they wanted a piece of that pie so ITV rushed in were greedy and they failed just like DC at first rushed in they were greedy and they failed but now they're slowly rebuilding after looking at where they failed so let's talk about how DC tried to rush in the first movie released in this new DCEU was Man of Steel followed by Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice which included Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman and Wonder Woman had not yet had their own solo films. You need to remember that DC got greedy as they saw Marvel's success. They got greedy just like ITV got greedy but no their greed does not stop there. They decided to release Suicide Squad which was full of all villains followed by Wonder Woman but here is where the fans just got fed up. They released Justice League which included Cyborg, Flash, Batman and Aquaman all of whom had not yet had their own solo movie. So the fans cottoned on and thus it was a complete failure. Justice League bombed at the box office. This is what ITV tried to do. They tried to go all in and look at the success of Sky and BT and just wanted a piece of that pie without building first that pie, without making it, without letting it bake in the oven. Now let's have a look at how Marvel did it. They made standalone films such as Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Iron Man 2 and Thor and then they brought them all together for an Avengers movie also including two minor heroes who had not yet had their own solo films such as Black Widow and Arrow 
and thus voila they had a box office success because all the fans knew who the superheroes in the movie were because they had their own solo films that is how you make a franchise successful you introduce all your characters to the fans and that's how you cash in which ITV had not done and still is not doing so how does all this affect ITV well ITV can still be a very successful boxing channel and perhaps in the future can bring back ITV box office how did they do that they follow the marvel method which is you have certain fighters such as marvel at certain superheroes you build them up you make them fight on free itv channels such as itv1 where they're going to get the most eyes they're going to get the most eyeballs you build them up you make them fight consistently on itv free boxing at the same time giving their boxers more publicity by making them appear on certain tv shows for example good morning britain that is one of the flagship itv shows perhaps more itv boxers could appear on there and also making documentaries about the boxers and appearing on certain itv channels that is a second thing they could be doing which would also increase the amount of eyeballs on their boxing Now we're going to take a side step and talk about DC again. Another reason why DC failed was because their movies were very dark and humorless. Just look at the first few DC movies and look at the box office and you'll see why they failed. The first reason is the most major reason, but a secondary reason was because their movies were dark and humorless. Whereas the last few DC movies such as Aquaman, Shazam and Wonder Woman have not been dark, not been humorless and they've done great at the box office. So, what I am saying is people love color, they love a beautiful product, they love personality and they love humor. So you put all them together and you have a great show. So, ITV's face to face, which is their version of the gloves are off, does not have any of them. Just take a look at this picture. It looks like ITV had broken into a random warehouse, just put a table inside it and started filming. I mean nothing about this looks professional. And who the hell is the guy in the middle? I mean I personally have never heard of him. However, Sky Sports Johnny Nelson, we've all heard of him and say what you will about him, he's a great character. Yes, most of his predictions don't come true except for the 1000% Anthony Joshua wins of course most of them don't come true but he's a character he's a personality he makes us all laugh when I this guy I've never even heard of this guy it's not as if ITV don't have access to a great boxing personality i mean they have access to prince nasim hamed who is a brilliant personality i mean this guy just say the truth how it is and he can talk just stick him in there just how sky stick johnny nelson in there itv should stick prince nasim hamed in there and let him loose and please for the love of god ITV should move their face to face show to a more better modern studio so it doesn't look as if ITV have broken into a random run down shut down warehouse and started filming over there Now uh, people the source of the story is in the description box down below now please remember to like comment share and subscribe Peace.